the proprietress, her name was Marie Duca, and she'd start the coffee at 3.30, so if you got there at quarter to four, there'd always be coffee there, but they wouldn't come out of their, let's say, their house, which was part of the Lazy D, and, and start cooking until four o'clock. Yeah. But sometimes people would get there at 3.30, and it was also an adventure because it's in the flood zone of Sonoma, which still floods to this day, yeah. and sometimes you couldn't quite drive up to the restaurant because it was three feet of water after the, in the wintertime after a big storm yeah, in Sonoma yeah. Valley, and so you'd, you'd put on waders and wade into the restaurant, and it had bar stools, so you could sit on the bar stool and keep your rear end dry, have your coffee. They, the stove was put up on blocks so they could still cook breakfast. Well, it was only up to the first rail <laughs> on the bar stool. <laughs> it was a fun place to visit is my memory because of all the characters that would be in there. It was as the wine, the grape industry and the wine industry was just getting started in the early 70s. It was a place to catch up with who's doing what and who's planning what yeah, and keeping yeah. up. And I remember your two brothers. And sometimes you, early on, one of the three of you had always been out on the town in Sonoma the night before. And so it, it was a way for us who didn't go out at night to the next morning find out what was going on, who was having what drink, and who played, who won the pool game, or who yeah. got in a fight. Right, and there was also uh, other growers. The dairymen used to hang out there, and the uh, Boyd Barron, the storyteller, you remember him? That's right. August Sebastiani, he was always there. And it was a transition in our Sonoma Valley agriculture. People were going from dairies and prune orchards and mainly pears, like you yeah. had pears and we had pears and Herb Batto had pears. Yeah. And most of them were beginning to convert some of their land to vineyards. That's right. And it was exciting. It was like kind of you had the gold rush feeling because people were changing their crops. Yeah. The wine industry was being reintroduced to Sonoma right there at the Lazy Dee. 